Clodagh Rogers is a singer and actress from Northern Ireland, best known for her hit singles including, Come Back and Shake Me, and Jack in the Box. Career Rogers was born in Ballymena and began her professional singing career at 13 when she opened for Michael Holiday. Her father, a dancehall tour promoter, helped her sign with Decca in 1962. She made four singles before moving to Emmy's Columbia label in 1965, where Clodagh Rogers made the 1966 single Stormy Weather Slash Lonely Room. Although none of her Decca or Columbia singles made the UK singles chart, Rogers became regular face on British television and appeared in the musical films Just For Fun and It's All Over Town. She also appeared in various song festivals, finishing third in the European Song Cup competition in Greece with Powder Your Face With Sunshine. In November 1963 she had flown to Nashville, Tennessee at the invitation of the American singer Jim Reeves, to perform at the Grand Ole Opry. On his Irish tour earlier that year he had recognized that Rogers was a promising artist with a bright future. Rogers appeared with Honeybass on BBC Two's music program Colour Me Pop on October 12, 1968. Her career changed dramatically when she married John Morris, who became her manager. She signed a three-single deal with RCA in 1968, but the first two failed to chart. When producer and songwriter Kenny Young saw her on Colour Me Pop he telephoned the BBC to find out who she was. Clodagh Rogers finally shot to fame in 1969 under his creative wing and with Morris management. Come Back and Shake Me, and Good Night Midnight, both were top five hits and made her the best-selling female singles artist of 1969. Also, she won the best legs in British show business and insured her voice for £1 million. The further single releases Bill Joe, Everybody Go Home, The Party's Over, and Lady Lovebug continued her chart success in the next few years. Young wrote and produced many of these songs. She also recorded Scrapbook, penned by Billy Ritchie, which appeared on her 1969 album Midnight Clodagh. In 1970 she recorded Give Me Just a Little More Line with Young under the name Moonshine. Though it enjoyed moderate success, it failed to chart. Rogers picked this track as one of her eight favorite discs when she appeared as the featured castaway on the BBC's Desert Island Discs in March 1971. In May 1970 Rogers appeared on the bill at the NME Poll Winners Concert, hosted by Tony Blackburn and Jimmy Savile. Equals Eurovision equals, by this time Rogers had become a TV star and household name. In 1970 she was asked to represent the UK in the 1971 Eurovision Song Contest in Dublin. According to John Kennedy O'Connor's The Eurovision Song Contest to Euro The Official History, part of the reasoning behind the BBC's invitation was their concern over the reaction the UK entrant would get on the stage from the Irish public. She received death threats from the IRA as a result of her appearing for the UK. Heralded by two separate fun cover features on the BBC listings magazine, The Radio Times, Rogers appeared as the resident guest on its Cliff Richard a primetime variety show hosted by Cliff Richard on BBC One from January 1971, performing one shortlisted song a week for six weeks, followed by a performance of all six on week seven and with a repeat of the six songs immediately after. Viewers would normally have been asked to send in postcard votes for their favourites, but because of a postal strike, regional juries decided the winner, with Jack in the Box, written by John Worsley and David Myers, being named the winner the following week. The song that placed fourth in the UK selection, Another Time, Another Place, later became a hit for Ian Gelbert Humperdinck. For the first time in the Eurovision Song Contest, broadcasters were required to prepare a preview video of the song for broadcast in all the participating Eurovision countries to help promote the songs before the big night. For the performance in Dublin, Rogers wore a pink frilly top and spangled hot pants. She finished in fourth place, behind Monaco. Spain and Germany. It was the first time since 1966 that the UK had not placed first or second. After Eurovision, the single reached number four on the UK singles chart, her third and last UK top ten success. It remains her most famous hit. At Eurovision, Roger's sister Lavinia joined the breakaways as her full backing vocalists. In 1982, 
Lavinia and brother Lewis attempted to represent the UK in the contest as part of the group Good Looks, but failed to come through the UK heat. Equals post Eurovision career equals, despite only one more chart single, Lady Lovebug in autumn 1971, Rogers continued to be a major TV star in the UK, guesting on many shows, appearing in cabaret, and becoming the face of Bisto in a series of television advertisements. On Irish television, the Clodagh Rogers show won an award at the Golden Rose TV Festival in Montreux. She starred in many other shows, including Seaside Special for BBC Television a Euro hosting the first show from Great Yarmouth in 1975 a Euro, and the Morecambe and Wise show in 1970. She was a regular guest of the two Ronnies. Rogers also made a mark with her impressions of fellow artists such as Cilla Black, often working with Mike Yarwood, Des O'Connor, Tommy Cooper, Bob Monkhouse, and Dickie Henderson in Variety. She was a regular performer in UK resort summer seasons, sharing the bill with Mike and Bernie Winters, among others. This success was mirrored on stage, where she has starred in London's West End in her own show at the Talk of the Town and in Cinderella at the London Palladium in 1971. Her stage career was damaged when she walked out on the show Meet Me in London at London's Adelphi Theatre in April 1971. The show, a fixed ten-week film between the closure of the musical Charlie Girl and a new production of Showboat, was produced by Harold Fielding, and consisted of two halves. Clodagh was due to feature in the opening half, mainly with the 30-strong singing and dancing group, The Young Generation, with two interspersed spots one with comics Hope and Keen, the other some songs from Rogers. The second half was a Tommy Steele-centered spectacular that had originally been played in Las Vegas. After cuts to the running order to trim the show's length, Rogers and her manager husband walked out 15 minutes before curtain up on opening night. Hope and Keen filled in for her and after a few shows singer Susan Morn took over her spot. Despite this, Rogers continued with TV work through the late 1970s and signed to Polydor Records in 1976. Despite radio airplay and television appearances, her 1977 single Saved Me failed to chart. The track was covered in the U.S. by Louise Mandrell who took it to number 6 on the U.S. country chart in 1983. Save Me was also covered by the South African all-girl band Clout. Other artists who covered this song include Mary Lee Rush and Helen Reddy. In 1978, Rogers hosted UK ITV's St. Patrick's Day variety show for the second time, appearing on the cover of the T Times to promote the show. Later that year, Rogers teamed with Terry Wogan on the ITV game show 3-2-1 in the program's first Christmas special celebrity edition, and the pair became the first contestants to end up with a dustbin as their prize, losing the chance to attain a prize for their nominated charity. She split from her manager husband not long after their son's birth and opted for motherhood over performing, although she released two singles on the Precision label in 1980. One of these tracks was My Simple Heart, which was placed on a B-side. Shortly after its release, the Three Degrees released their version of it, which reached the UK Top 10. Similarly, Rogers had released Stand By Your Man as the B-side of her 1971 single Lady Lovebug. Stand By Your Man had previously been a hit for Tammy Wynette in the U.S. country charts in 1968 and later a number one hit single for Wynette when it was released the U.K. in 1975. Later years, her second husband, guitarist Ian Sorby, died in 1995, not long after their painting-based restaurant business collapsed, leaving them bankrupt. She has appeared in two musicals in the West End. These are Pump Boys and Donettes at the Piccadilly and Albury Theatres and in the lead role of Mrs. Johnston in the long-running hit Blood Brothers at the Phoenix Theatre. She appeared in the UK tour of Blood Brothers between 1995 and 1998. In 1996, the first of two CD retrospectives were issued, bringing Rogers back into the limelight. In 1998, she made a rare TV appearance with other former Eurovision artists performing on comedian John Shuttleworth's Eurovision parody Europeagin on BBC Two, just before the 1998 contest in Birmingham. In 1999, Mint Royale issued the track Shake Me, which sampled Rogers' original recording of Come Back and Shake Me. 
it was featured in the UK TV production Queer as Folk. In 2001, Rogers played a recurring character in the ITV drama series The Bill. Other, in the TV series Monty Python's Flying Circus, Episode 34, The Cycling Tour, Mr. Gulliver receives a head trauma from an auto accident and is convinced that he is Clodagh Rogers. At the end of the episode, two large Terry Gilliam animated monsters, who has been eyeing the cyclist lead character Mr. Pither from behind a bush, wait until Pither is gone, jump out, and dance up and down to Rogers' rendition of Jack in the Box. Discography Equals Singles Equals 1962 Believe Me I'm No Fool Slash End of the Line 1963 Sometime Kind of Love Slash I See More of Him 1963 To Give My Love to You Slash I Only Live to Love You 1964 Mr. Heartache Slash Time 1965 Wanting You Slash Johnny Come Home 1966 Every Day Is Just the Same Slash You'll Come A Running 1966 Stormy Weather Slash Lonely Room 1968 Room Full of Roses Slash Play the Drama to the End 1968 Rhythm of Love Slash River of Tears 1969 Come Back and Shake Me Slash I Am A Fantasy A Euro UK Number 3 1969 Good Night Midnight Slash Together UK Number 4 1969 Biljo Slash Spider UK Number 22 1970 Everybody Go Home The Party's Over Slash Joseph I'm Calling You UK Number 47 1970 Tangerines, Tangerines Slash Wolf 1971 Jack in the Box Slash Someone to Love Me UK Number 4 Also released as a 331 or 3 RPMs Marxy single with 3 tracks, Jack In the Box Slash Someone to Love Me Slash The Wind of Change 1971 Lady Love Bug Slash Stand By Your Man UK Number 28, 1972 It's Different Now Slash Take Me Home, 1972 You Are My Music Slash One Day, 1973 Carolina Day Slash Loving You, 1973 That's The Way I've Always Heard It Should Be, 1974 Get It Together Slash Take Me Home, 1974 Saturday Sunday Slash Love Is, 1977 Save Me Slash Sleepyhead, 1977 Put It Back Together Slash Lay Me Down, 1977 Incident at the Roxy, 1977 Loving Cup Slash Morning Comes Quickly, 1978 Love Is Deep Inside Of Me Slash Candlelight, 1980 I Can't Afford That Feeling Anymore Slash My Simple Heart, 1980 Person To Person Slash My Simple Heart, 1999 Shake Me, Wolf Was Originally Released As The A Side Of The Single, But When It Failed To Chart, the single was reissued with Tangerines, Tangerines is the lead track. Equals Albums Equals, 1969 Clodagh Rogers A Euro A Euro UK Number 27, 1969 Midnight Clodagh A Euro, 1971 Rogers and Heart A Euro, 1971 Clodagh Rogers A Euro, 1972 It's Different Now A Euro, 1973 You Are My Music A Euro, 1973 Come Back and Shake Me A Euro. 1977 Save Me a Euro, 1996 You Are My Music a Euro The Best of Clodagh Rogers a Euro, 1997 The Masters a Euro, 2012 Come Back and Shake Me, The Kenny Young Years 1969 a Euro 71 a Euro. See also, List of RCA Records Artists, List of Performers on Top of the Pops, List of NME Covers. References External Links Clodagh Rogers discography at Discogs, mini biography at Irish Connections, transcribed interview with Kenny Young mentioning Clodagh Rogers' work, Clodagh Rogers' biography at All Music website.